following Getting Started series of videos have been created to help quickly bring you up to speed with the Click PLC system, whether you're new to PLCs or a seasoned veteran. The first video on the series, titled, What is a PLC?, was created to help the viewer have an understanding to why and how PLCs came about. Let me point out that the same steps shown in this series of videos is also available in Chapter 1 of the Click PLC User Manual, our part number C0USER-M. The User Manual can be downloaded or purchased from our online web store. Before you begin with the other steps in this series, we recommend you have the following items on hand to allow arriving at the final getting started task a little quicker. Any one of the current four different I.O. type configurations available will work fine for this getting started series. You will also need the Click PLC programming software. The programming software is free and can be downloaded from the link shown here. At some time in the near future, the Click programming software will be available on CD from our web store for a nominal fee to help cover the cost of production and packaging. A software installation guide is included with the downloaded version and will be in printed form with the CD when it is available. You'll also need a personal computer with the minimum requirements shown here. Next, we need to provide 24 volt DC power to the Click CPU. We have a couple of choices here. If you already have a 24 volt DC power source with good regulation and at least 120 milliamp capacity, 180 milliamp for the CO00DD1 D CPU, you are all set. The other choices are to use one of the optional Click 24 volt DC power supplies. Either one will work for this getting started series. The other option is to purchase a 24 volt DC power supply such as the Rhino series offered by AutomationDirect.com. The 24 volt DC is wired to the removable terminal block located on the bottom of the CPU as shown here. Depending on the type of communications port available on the PC you are using, you will need to choose a programming cable to connect between port 1 on the Click CPU and the available port on the PC. It is becoming more difficult to find PCs with RS-232 ports while all new PCs do have multiple USB ports. If you have a RS-232 9-pin port available, then the Click CPU can be connected by using an Automation Direct PC programming cable, part number D2DSCBL. This is the same cable that has been around for a while and is used with our Direct Logic PLCs. If the PC has an available USB port, then an Automation Direct USB to RS-232 converter cable assembly, part number EA, MG, PGM, CBL can be used. Having a small screwdriver, wire strippers, various colors of hookup wire, and an AC power cord on hand will be helpful in completing the Getting Started series of tasks. As a safety precaution, please be aware that connecting 120 volts AC to the power supply will be required. If you are not comfortable in working with AC voltages, you may want to have someone that is qualified do the AC power cord connections for you. Let me point out another good source of information that you may find useful. In the lower left hand corner of this slide is the logo for the About PLC's website. And of course, that's at www aboutplcs.com. There is a ton of information at this site, including additional details about the Click PLC and our Direct Logic PLCs. In the next video, we will cover installing the Click PLC programming software on your PC. Until next time, thank you for watching this tutorial from learn.automationdirect.com. Have a great day.